lights on, lights off. Now let's do it on a shop page. Lights on, lights off. Looks awesome. And once again, let's do it on a back end. Lights on, lights off. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to activate the dark mode on your site with a couple of clicks. It's really easy to do. So let's jump in. Now, in order to do so, we need to install a plugin. The plugin is called Dark Lab, the one you see on the screen right now. Currently, it has more than 1000 active installations. It has a free version and it has a pro version. In this video, I'm using the pro version. Currently, it has a Black Friday deal up to 60% off. So if you take a look at it, then you'll see that the regular price is $28 for one side license. And for 1000 licenses, it's $115. But currently it's up to 60% off. If you're looking this video after the Black Friday, then take a look at the description of this video because there is a nice 10% discount coupon for you. Just follow the link and grab the deal. One more thing, if you would like to know what is the difference between free and pro versions, then scroll down and you'll see what are the main differences. One important thing to mention, Tarklop works basically with every team. But if for some reason you stumble on a problem, then ask from the support and they will guide you how to make your team compatible. Nevertheless, I have tested it with four teams, that is Bloxy team, Astro team, Cadence team and Generate Press, and it worked well for every one of those. Now when the money talk is out of the way, let's go to the WordPress dashboard. And after installing the plugin, you'll see this dark lap menu here. Go to the settings and let's see what happens here. First, let's take a look at the home. You'll see the tutorial videos here, which is a nice addition. Next, there is a documentation and help support links. If you want to add some missing features, then let them know. Now, if you scroll up, there is an advanced button. Here you can choose whether to enable the dark mode on the front end. I did it so. Whether to activate it on the dashboard. I also activated this one. And this is a button up here. If I deactivate it, save it, refresh it, then you'll see the button is gone. I'm going to reactivate it once again. You can set the dark mode as a default. I don't like it as a default. I need it to be an optional feature, so it's off. If you would like to enable operating system aware dark mode, then you can do it here. For example, if user visits sites, and he or she has a dark mode activated on the device, then the website also displays a dark mode. You can enable keyboard shortcuts, or you can enable time-based dark mode. That is start time and end time. You can set it up here. I have it deactivated. Next, there are the color settings. You can set the dark mode intensity. Currently, it has 70% for my site, but let's increase it to the 91%. Let's save it. I'm going to refresh and see what happened. So, much darker, as you see. Just to compare, back to the 70, save settings, refresh, and much lighter. Next, you can customize branding color intensity, and it will preserve your branding colors. If you have a dynamic mode activated, then you can tweak the colors here. Text, link color, hover, border, button button text input fields. As you see, I have a dynamic mode activated, but there are also presets. If you take a look at it, let's choose, for example, Twitter dim. I'm going to save it, refresh it, and you'll see these are the preset colors. But for the presets, you can also customize your colors here in a way you like. Now, those are the front-end color presets, but there are also admin dashboard color presets. You can choose those here. I like the dynamic more, so I'm going to activate the dynamic once again, save settings and go to the switch styles option. Here you have four options, floating switch for desktop. That is this button up here. Next you have for mobile, the same. Menu switch, that is if you would like to add the color switch button to the menu, then choose the menu and you can select the style here. Also some margin options. I'm going to deactivate it. And under the advanced settings, you can customize a switch animation, whether to display the tooltip, add the tooltip text, background, 
and you can enable the dragging feature for the floating switch. That is, if I activate it, save it, as a refresh the page, now you'll see that I can drag it as I like. I'm going to leave it deactivated and go to the floating switch for desktop. And as you see, I can choose the icon. Here's a preview. I like this one the most, so I'm going to leave it as this. But if needed, I can change the background color, icon color, and so on. Tons of options here. Now, switch position. Currently, I have it on top right here, but I can set it to bottom right, top left, or bottom left. Since my favorite position is top right, I'm going to leave it as this. Here you can set some margin units and set the switch margins, text font size, and you can set the labels for the text for the light version and the dark version. Next one, we have image settings, whether to show the image effects or not. You can grayscale it, brighten them up, add contrast, add some opacity, and so on. If you have a logo for a light version or dark version, then you can upload them separately here. And as a demonstration, I set the brightness to 2.1, and you'll see it changed. Now I'm going to add some contrast. Doesn't look any good, so I'm going to reset them both. But if you need, then this way you can customize the image settings here. Next, let's go to the WooCommerce settings. You can add the inclusion and exclusion rules for the categories and products. Maybe there are some categories you don't want the dark mode to be enabled, so you can exclude those here, as you see, choose the category and so on. Now, filter elements. You can add overlay to all background images, exclude. If there are some elements on your site, section classes, IDs and so on, then you can exclude those here. Just add it and save it. Next one, triggers. You can exclude pages, posts, categories, or include pages, posts, and categories where you would like to display the dark mode. If you need to add some custom CSS, then you can do it here. And you can activate the usage analytics. Email reporting on or off, and reporting frequency. Save settings, and nothing else to configure here. One more thing. If I activate dark mode here and go to the admin page, then also the admin page has a dark mode activated. Now, as you saw, activating the dark mode on your site is really easy. With a couple of clicks, you can set it up and forget it. Now, having a dark mode on your site is a nice feature, but you also need a good team. I have made a thorough review about the Bloxy team, which has been my go-to team for the last two years. And since the Bloxy version 2 with more than 70 new features and 200 improvements was just released, then take a look at the screen right now. There is a video where I display all the cool stuff. In the meantime, take care.